Hello again, everybody. It's archivist David Thomas at the Cornwall Record Office at uh, County Hall at Truro, another of David's dazzling documents. And today we're celebrating International Women's Day here in the Cornwall Record Office. And I thought about this and I thought, what would we get out to illustrate some prominent Cornish women who left their mark on society? On the table, we have a rather fabulous coloured document dated 1506. I'm just going to read the first line of it to you and then talk a little bit more about what this actually means. There's a really large story here on this document. And beautifully done. And we have, to all people to whom this present writing indented shall come, Thomasine Percyvale of London, widow, late the wife of Sir John Percival Knight, and late mayor of the city of London, sendeth greeting. And although it says that Thomasine Percyvale was living in London, she was in fact a Cornish girl. And her real name was John uh, Thomasine Bonaventure, and her parents were John and Jane Bonaventure from Week St Mary up in North Cornwall. We think she was born about 1450, and she died in 1512. The story goes that one day a wealthy London merchant was travelling in North Cornwall, probably to purchase wool to sell in the city of London. Uh, Thomas Barnaby was his name, and he saw Thomasine. Um, at her shepherding duties, and he asked her to become the wife of his, the uh, servant of his wife. And he, her parents agreed she was taken to London. Subsequently, the uh, wife of Thomas Barnaby died, and she became his wife. And then he died, and she became the wife of Henry Gall. And then he died, and she became the wife of Sir John Percivale who in 1498 was elected as none other than the Lord Mayor of London. He died soon after, in about 1504 to 5, and left her an extremely wealthy woman. And in the deed, she founds the charity school and the chantry to pray for her soul in Week St Mary in North Cornwall. If you go to Week St Mary today, you will see some of the remains of that charity and, ch and chantry school still there. Um, within the village. So it's a really, really um, wonderful document in classic Henry VII period handwriting. So it says, um, written in 506 and the 21st year of the reign of King Henry VII. So she was quite important as a local Cornish girl who married the right people and pulled herself up the social scale to become one of the wealthiest women um, who had influence and wealth and power, and used it to do the public good because the school that she founded um, was there for some years. We think it was abolished by the Chantry Act in the 1540s, and then the pro proceeds of it actually went towards endowing another school or an educational establishment in Launceston. She also um, endowed churches, for example, she um, had money left uh, to 40 marks to build the tower of St Stephen by Launceston Church. So she was quite um, influential in her time. And up here at the top we have the, the coat of arms of the Percivale family. So it's quite a nice document for heraldry as well. Um, also, just off the cuff, um, although Bude is quite close to Week St Mary and was on the Southern Railway, in fact, she actually uh, had a Great Western uh, Railway engine named after her to celebrate her importance. We've looked before also at this other document on the table, which is 1570s document in the Buller collection, um, which is the Buller attainder. I just got the two of them out together just to show you the two different borders. We have the strawberry design and the poppies and the flowers, and it's nice to have these two 16th century documents, one from before the Reformation, our school deed, and one after, but the influential styles of the borders are quite similar. So today, let's remember the poor shepherdess girl who became the wife of the uh, Lord Mayor of London and did so much uh, in her way to help other people who from her own area of North Cornwall. Thank you.